Hi, I'm Maria Shriver, and I am here with an incredibly talented director who has just directed an incredibly important film. The film is called As Far As They Can Run. Okay, remember that, As Far As They Can Run. It's up for an Oscar, so we need your vote. We need your vote, we're very clear, we need you to pass this on, and we need your vote because this film is about something big. It's about a big idea. It's about lives that are changed. And this woman who has been on the ground for the last couple of years telling this story deserves this honor, deserves this recognition. Deserves Thank you. That. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, I so just it's so true. It's Tanaz Ashagian, and she is the director. We met here in my office a couple of years ago, and she went out and told this story in such a beautiful, such a moving, such an inspirational way about some young people in Pakistan who lives are unimaginable and they got involved in Special Olympics and their lives changed. So Tanaz, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. It's, very, it's really lovely. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? First of all, my mother would be beside herself that you, a <laughs> woman, told this story that is oh, otherwise I love that. nobody sees this story you told yeah. a story that isn't seen that is not visible that even to me was like oh, you told the story of people who have intellectual disabilities who are chained living in cells well i mean that, that that's that's exactly the the idea was to tell stories that don't make the headlines like to kind of tell the story of people that are quietly marginalized, ignored, rejected, cast aside. I, I gravitate towards that. And um, I just, I, I, I feel really good when I'm able to bring that to the forefront, to people's attention. Like I feel like I, I'm adding something, you know what I mean? Like, it's well, like you definitely added something because you told the lives of several people and their families. You put a human face to their story and you said this took a lot out of you to tell this story. It did. It did take a lot out of me. Well, I mean, it was it was um, fascinating. It was multiple trips to Pakistan, but you know, I had to leave my own family, take off, upset children, all that sort of thing. And it's it's tough. I mean, you're going into areas that are difficult, and when you're used to living in some degree of comfort, it it's not easy. I mean, you expect it, but it's definitely tough. I was, I was saying to you earlier, I need probably, it's like, it's like giving birth um, in the sense that when it's finally out in the world, you, it, it really feels so major that you need a year or two before you can do it again. So this film is now uh, streaming on Paramount Plus. I really hope you will take the time to watch it, watch it with your children. Tenaz, I want you to talk about why Pakistan and how you found these individual characters and why you decided on these characters. Um, Pakistan happened because I met the woman who runs Special Olympics Pakistan. Her name is Ronak Lakhani, and we met in New York, and she started telling me about how the, her, the social workers and the organization will find out about these, these intellectually disabled children and how they're being um, basically dealt with in this way because the, the, the families in these rural areas particularly have very few resources and they don't know what to do. Right. And so um, the social workers and so Pakistan hears about it and will show up to these, these people's homes and will find that there's like a 12 year old living with, you know, the animals and is chained and then when questioned why they will say because you know this child is destructive sets things on fire we have a lot to do we're trying to get work done this way this child is safe we know where the child is and everything's under control and the whole neighborhood says that's what we should do so we did it and i was i was like amazed by it and i kept thinking about it and thinking about it and what you know once you once an idea doesn't leave your head, you know it's a film. Yeah. <laughs> so but what I think is so remarkable is you go to these villages and you see 
youngsters who have an intellectual disability, as you say, families don't even know what that is or how to manage it. And therefore they're shackled so they don't run away. They're put left in a room uh, right. where food is brought to them because the family members have to go and work in the field to bring money in. Correct. And you tell the story in such a way that you understand everybody's point of view, which is really hard because the oh, first good. minute is, I'm so you glad see you somebody, say that. Well, you see somebody's leg shackled, you're like, what? And then you hear the brother say, I can't care for him because I have to go and work in the fields or I can't bring right. money. But what am I supposed to do? Because my fear, my fear, Maria, is that there are still people that will watch this and somehow judge these families. And my, I like that would be so. I would have not not done my my work properly because we would have anyone in that situation. You don't. You're. You really don't know what else to do. It's so. Right. It's so difficult. And what was really important to me, and I immediately when I went there, I was like, we have to understand this from their perspective because this could be me. This could easily. I mean, I was just not born here. I got lucky. And I think what's also super interesting is you see Special Olympics volunteers come to these villages, right, which are all over, far away, rural, extreme poverty, and bring these young people to uh, a stadium where they can run, where they yeah. can, where, and you get a sense when you see them for the first time where they see the They're amazed, stage. yeah, yeah. They're I know. Amazing. I know. It's that. That was. That's like my. You notice that. That's like my one of my favorite shots. Yeah, where she gets out of the car. Talk about that a little bit and the difference that Special Olympics makes and made in I these think, young people's lives. Sure. I think that when you have an organization, in this case, it was the Special Olympics. It's life transforming. It's not another after-school program. It transforms the village. So it's, it's incredible. It's not, it's not minor. So tell me, you said it, you know, kind of getting their child involved in Special Olympics not only transformed the child, but the family, yes. but the entire community, right? How did doing this film transform you? Honestly, I, I think I, I needed even more therapy after. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what it's, it's, it's I mean, it's just, it's like human, it's, it's different. You're like, this is so goddamn unfair. Like these people did nothing except they were born in a, in a tough place. Right. And one of the volunteers is saying to the mother, you know, you have to help your daughter here because it's not her fault that yeah. she was born. Um, with this disability and, and you see the emotion in the mother's, you know, life that, that she says she wants to help her daughter. Everybody wants to help their brother, their son, their daughter, and they just don't even know how. Right. right? And the choices between being able to leave a job and get a ride to the stadium, Correct. that's life, right? That's eat or not eat. Right, exactly. Because um, so much of life is the, is the practical considerations. Yeah. And it ends up, you know, destroying possibilities, for, you know, what could happen because practically you just can't get to where you need to be. What is your hope that the film, uh, the message that the film leaves with people when they watch it? That, you know, honestly, if you take away a human being's dignity, just a little bit of attention and love can bring it back. I, I was, I'm usually very misanthropic and expect very little. And I saw that. I was like, look at that. Like just a little, like just, you know, it's really, it's sports, but it's also just attention. It's like, I see you, you matter. Like you exist. I, I, I'm touching you. I'm saying your name. And we just, we all need that so badly. And I think it's what really makes a human being versus like being cast aside and treated like subhuman. It, it, it's, it, it creates dignity, that, that being seen and heard and cared for. That to me is what the film really, um, which is why I'm hopeful that people will vote for it because it's such a big message. It's focused in Pakistan. It's oh, good. I'm so glad you say that. 
Right, but it's a big message about reaching out to anybody that you find, about seeing somebody, about loving somebody, about taking the time. This is about the volunteers in Pakistan. It's about the women who takes her time to drive from village to village. It's right, about- exactly. It's about just going that little extra where it's like there might not be something in it for you. Right. But it's, it's-, it's actually such a better way to live. And it really is, you know, you can start to think about when you watch this film, you can transport the message to your own community, your own neighborhood, your own life, and think about where is there somebody that I can put my gaze upon? Where is there somebody that I can invite to participate? In the community. Yeah, totally. Right, whatever that is. So this film, uh, as far as they can run, is centered in Pakistan. It's centered on the work of the Special Olympics movement, but really it's centered on love. It's centered on volunteerism. It's centered on people going the extra mile in that country. But this is going on all over the world. And that's why, first of all, Mummy would be so thrilled that a woman was the director of this. She would be so outraged that this is continuing to go on in um, and that families have are meant to find themselves in the predicament where shackles are the only option for them. Yeah, but at least, at least there's some, there's someone going out and this could be happening and there could be nothing happening to help them. Right, exactly. So she would be both enraged, she would get up her like, I've got more to do when she would see the images that you have brought home. Uh, and she would be proud of the people who are working, so many volunteers in Pakistan. And this is going on all in countries all over the world, all over. 120 some countries. So by voting for this film, I just, Marie, I have to say one thing just so that we're clear. At this point, we're trying to get it shortlisted, which, right. so it's not yet a. Um, in the category where it's it's running, it's it's trying to get short. Well, in our mind, it is. <laughs> our mind, it is. First, you have to start with it's worthy of being on the list. Then you have to vote for it to be on the list. Then you get it on the short list, right? And then yes. there's a whole there's a process. It's like running for office. You have to first have the idea. You have to say the vision. So our vision is it's going to have an Oscar. Okay, that's where we're going. And then we have to start and we have to go step by step by step. Okay, so great. We watch it. We right. want you to watch it. We want it to be shortlisted. Once it's shortlisted, we want you to vote for it to get an Oscar. But first we have to get you to to get it shortlisted, right? I mean, there's a process. There's a process. Yeah. There's it's- a process. And so we don't really want to go through the process. We know we have to go through the process. So what do you what should everybody do who watches this right now to support the vision, the heart of this film? I think, you know, let others know about it, have people watch it. The more there's conversation around it, you what things come out of that. You know, there's an awareness and that awareness can lead to all sorts of changes that I right now can't imagine. But once something is part of the conversation, it makes a difference. Okay, well, Tanaz, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to tell this story. It's a story that is uh, going on every day all around this world. You have brought this story home. Uh, You have brought it into the hearts and minds of people uh, all over this country and all over this world. So I hope all of you will take a moment to watch the film to talk about the film. It is called As Far As They Can Run. And if you know anybody who's voting to get it on the short list, please tell them to vote for this film. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Maria, for taking the time to talk with me. It was really lovely. Yeah, thanks so much.